they are aggressive and they live by the blitz. Back to Goodson and Goodson down the sideline. Touchdown Iowa. Of the defense. Look at the two tight ends right here. And you're going to see as they go and block Laporta is going to go block the support. That's Reese Taylor up there. He just comes inside. And once he ducks inside, there is no contain. And then it's off to the races. And Tyler Goodson is way too explosive, outrunning all the angles to get into the end zone. When he was named first team Big Ten last year, he was the first Hawkeye running back. Iowa rushes four pass through the hands and intercepted. Matthews couldn't hold. Well, Penix gets rid of the football off the hands and right into the grips of Riley Moss, who takes it all the way back. Matthews has got to make that catch. Moss, opportunistic, going into the end zone. And you think that this crowd here at Kinnick Stadium is fired up. And now not as empty as Goodson joins the party in the backfield. Petrus designed run. These two teams, top three in the Big Ten in turnover margin last year. And there's another pick by Riley Moss. Are you kidding me? Two pick sixes for number 33. Watch Riley Moss right here at the bottom of your screen. He's playing off coverage. He does not even move. He's expecting this route. Boom. Puts his foot in the ground, jumps it. And two pick sixes in week one. That's, that's quite a start to the season. And zip that pass to Tyron Tracy Jr. for nine yards and a flip out into space and a little juggling catch made. But look at all that space and Goodson will take advantage of it. Touchdown, Iowa. So 46 yards into all of that space. Nice catch on the pitch, too. Remarkable symmetry between the offensive line, the quarterback, Tyler Goodson as the run. Will they cash in with seven or an attempt at three? And they are going to cash in with seven. Sam Considerable traffic that Petrus throws this ball into as the protection holds up. Sam Laporta just flat. It's Goodson running. And Goodson turning through a hole. And he breaks open. Down the sideline. Touchdown, Iowa. The last 35 went by Tyler Goodson into the end zone. Defense turns to offense when your offensive line can move people like this Iowa offensive line is doing in today's game. Hasn't been pretty in the initial two contests. They've had some moments. This the most consistent control of a ball game for Iowa's offensive line through three weeks of the That Iowa still probably ran about the same types of plays and concepts as it did back then. Nico Regani with the catch. He's fired out of the tackle and runs out just short of the goal line. Pierre. The one to catch him and keep him out of the end zone after a 48-yard pitch and catch. Nico Regani hit him with the dead leg on the pump fake in the pocket from Spencer Petrus. Timed up perfectly, came back to the football. You certainly don't want to overthrow a receiver in a moment like this. And Regani able to be very effective after the pop. Goodson, look out. Look out. He is a big ticket player reading and reaction and when you can see it you gotta hit it i love it he's hell bent for election baby yes sir speed a little bit of strength second and ten looping it long that wow. is keegan johnson touchdown robert floyd still doesn't know what happened to him he squatted out here right he turns his hips and then pushing to the boundary he knows he's in one-on-one -on -one, the closest defender he's he's would they get him out of retirement? Tyler gets into the backfield, and they're looking long for Keegan Johnson again. Wow. He's got it again at the 25. Rams will flip their corners. It's 25 again. Robert Floyd, it doesn't matter what size they're on. An unbelievable release to the inside of the field. No protection. It looked like almost zero coverage. That means no safety in the middle of the field. When you're manned up, boy, there's no second line of defense once they get behind you. Stonehouse needs to get a boomer off for his Rams, and he did. He's got Charlie Jones backing up to his 20. Coming to the wide side. 
There's a block, and it was a good one. And legal. Jones at midfield. Jitterbugs to the 43. Difference right there. Here it is. Guess who made it? <laughs> Goodson. How about that? You can see that the pressures come from inside. You got that ball seated in the inside hand, and he switches it, which is great awareness to avoid the ball coming out of being a jar. You'd think that Iowa was up by more than seven points. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it doesn't get close. They're looking along this time. Wow, it is an adjustment. Ragini. Defense had no chance in covering this. He changes his position, re-identifies where the ball is coming oh. from. And I don't know if there's a way that you defend that. That's yeah. called tracking the ball. It, that's 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 Willie Mays off Vic Wirtz in 54 in the World Series. I mean, and he that's how good a catch that was. They still try to throw it in this time. Hmm. Interesting. Yep, got him. There it is. Crossing pattern right to Tyler wow. Goodson, and he's gone. Tyler <laughs> Goodson is gone. <laughs> how do you do? <laughs> Sixty-seven yards. Opportunity there versus man coverage, and you can see here he is. Hey, look, who are you going to cover me with? A linebacker? Oh, I'll take that any day. Make him miss <laughs> a little juke <laughs> wow. outside. I mean, that that that's just unfair, man. You, you can't know, allow that to happen. Poor Kobe Thomas had no chance. It's another thing to do it when you're in those close games, and we've seen him do it in both now. Yeah. Pressure off the edge. Petrus yeah. again. again. Bruce. He's what got adjustment. It. Another Willie Mays catch Incredible. off of Vic Wirtz in 54. Catch that was. Arlen Bruce, I thought initially that's Charlie Jones 16, but that's almost the same catch, Spencer. Tarheem. That was made by Regani last week. Yeah, Tarheem still, number 12, again, was trying to defend best he could. Be Mr. Fickle. Yep, yeah, I think that that, yeah. that one was one you have your eyeball on. I sure do. That's Ivory nice. Kelly Martin. Look out! Headed for the sidelines and out of bounds inside the 10. Run out by Hippolyte. That this not so dynamic offense has a little more than maybe you bargained for. Fresh legs and then smart. Watch him shift this ball over to the other hand. Yep. He's more of a Pete he's Carroll a, he's guy. A, he's a Pete Carroll guy. And when yep. you look at some of the inventive things that he's doing now, man, that's going to cause some problems. There's another pick. Yeah, another interception. This one by Schulte. In the right spot, and he's going right down the sideline with it. He's pushed out inside the 10. Oh, that's right. That was their second sideline interference of the night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what how about we, this? How, how do you nice interfere little button this? hook he ran right there. At least that's what we used to call it, right? <laughs> little button hook. I'm trying to figure out where the interference happened. Eh? Yeah, I don't I know. I know there's another, play, there's another player that pushed another player out of it. I, don't I didn't see a hawk either in my Petrus sideline he's got his man dives Charlie Jones and they ran a little bit of a pick play let's see where that ball is he touches the pylon with that hand at that moment he is out of bounds but he would get the pylon extended second and five play action Roberson winds up. Intercepted again! It's the route. Roberson way overthrows this. Moss is there. He's able to pick the ball off. Riley Moss had two pick sixes in the first half of the season opening win over Indiana. He's Iowa's highest rated defender according to Pro Football Focus. Second down and 10, Petrus, near side, and it's caught. Here's Johnson, breaking tackles, spinning. Johnson down inside the Penn State 10. Tariq Castro fields the corner, normally very good in the open field tackling, but watch the strength, great strength from Keegan Johnson. He's a guy that they're very high on, just a true freshman, but they say he plays bigger and stronger than even his height and weight, 6'1", 197. For Spencer Petrus. And he'll throw it. Rolls. Looks back. Side. Caught. Out of bounds. Misdirection. You get the play fake to the left. Petrus comes out rolling to his right. But at this point, watch Regani. He stops and goes back to the other side of the field. That's where Petrus finds him. 
So first and five for the Hawkeyes as they inch closer to midfield again. And they'll keep it on the ground. And a lot of running room here for Goodson inside the 40. And finally, knocked out of bounds inside the 30 by Cam Allen. Watch as he steps out. It's going to open up a cutback lane right off of it. Karloff just goes out, gets wide, and an excellent cut by Tyler Goodson. Karloff just can't squeeze it and get down. Cutback lane is in. We got fullbacks. We got DeLoreans. We got two tights. And just to finish that punt, it, it is 1985, the last time they were number two. And to the goal line and into the end zone, Kelly Martin for the Iowa touchdown. Watch this double. 84, Laporta. 78, Richmond. And you'll see the excellent cutback by Ivory Kelly Martin. Good push at the point of attack. Good vision by the running back. He's got well over 2,000 yards in his career. The fastest to do it in Purdue history. Did it in 22 games. Big Ten freshman of the year two years ago. On the return, Kelly Martin. And he's still going into Purdue territory. At the 30 and finally knocked out of bounds. At the 20. Maybe Ivory Kelly Martin can wake up this Hawkeye football team. Good blocking and strong running as you see Kelly Martin run through Marvin Grant and hit the sidelines. If you're shuffling in quarterbacks, will it affect the starter and no ill effects whatsoever for number 16? Here's Jones. And Jones inside the 35 breaks to the perimeter. Inside the 10, and he gets tripped up. Really good punt and kick returner. See that short area quickness making people miss. Just barely tripped up as he hit the sidelines. Should be a fun, old-school Big Ten football game. Jack Dunbritton. Up. Charlie Jones with a good return. As he gets across the 40, out to about the 45-yard line, it's a 44-yard return. There's still plenty of time on the clock to score before halftime, but they need a third-down conversion here. Petrus, traffic at his feet, squeezes one in again to Laporta. What a catch by Sam Laporta. Over the middle, Petrus, one, two, three, it's not there. Petrus, quarterback sneak. Potabon gets him a push. Does he get in? Again, no signal from the officials. There it is. That's an Iowa touchdown. They're away from making this a two-score game. Initially, great play by Wisconsin defensively, but just a push, and that final push by Goodson is what allows that ball just to get. So no gain of the play. So the numbers on Gallagher this season, second on this Northwestern defense and tackles. Padilla throws down the sideline, going up and pulling it down. It's a catch inside the 15-yard line. Makes a great catch, first down, Iowa. That is, and, he, that, and look, the coverage is very good right there. It's not like it's, you know, Mitchell's right there. He just puts it up. He comes back and high points it, and that's a big play. Down in 10. Gets it up the middle, has a lead, and the end zone. Touchdown, Iowa. Dia engineer a first quarter touchdown drive. I want you to watch the All-American Tyler Linderbaum on the inside on the double team and he just stays with it and he follows him. All he does is drive that guy about five yards. On the 39 and second down at 10. There's Goodson. What a space. Big hole. Sideline. Goodson. 25. Knocked down near the 20. Sideline the whole way. Watch this angle right there. 3-3, three, 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 Laporte in motion on third and two. Off the play fake, Padilla lets it fly. Diamond catch! What a catch it was by Charlie Jones. And Charlie Jones is the speedster. And what an effort laying out for that one. They got him in man coverage against Justin Wally. And Alex Padilla making the adjustment. But it's a sneak. It's Padilla with Potabon pushing. And that undoubtedly is an Iowa touchdown. They were held to a field goal. Iowa, they forced Time their out. way in. And they've got the 10-3 lead. 
First and ten. And Padilla downfield. He's got it. Charlie Jones. And the speedster is off to the races. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Well, Charlie Jones working on the true freshman, Media. Justin Wally. Time out. He gets it with a double move. He's been the deep shot threat today for Iowa. Padilla gets it out to Johnson. Johnson somehow stays up. Oh my goodness! Touchdown! For defense, they had an opportunity. It's Durrance, Thomas Rush, get him down. Two guys trying to converge on Keaton Johnson. Instead, that leads to a touchdown. I'll tell you what, look at the toughness of the true freshman wide receiver. Able to get those defenders off him. The Iowa Hawkeyes celebrating in Iowa City. Contain him and, and force Peters to make plays. Kickoff comes from James McCourt. And once again, Charlie Jones back taking it in at the goal line, and he'll bring it out. One of the best returners in the Big Ten. The seniors got room over the left side across the 40. Jones might go. Charlie Jones from the goal line, 100 yard touchdown return for Iowa. Does a good job there and sets up third down. They give it to Bruce, left side, and he's in for the score. Arlen Bruce, the fourth, takes it in. The big catch on third down, and then he gets another jet sweep here where he gets the ball, gets outside, and now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. He doesn't have to get in the end zone, but he finishes this man through the goal line. Third and five. Peters looking, and it's intercepted. He was trying to get it to Washington, and it's picked off. Do what you do. That is a great job by Belton. Not being enticed by the flat player who we talked about right before the play, number 87, the talented tight end that they have, Barker. He does his job. Uh, just making some of those throws and, and just a little bit to the left here, a little bit deeper there. Interception off the hands of Brown. It's picked off. That's Jack Campbell running it back. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. How about that? Come back and check it down like you want him to see it. Just a little high, a little hot. Hot and high is a recipe for disaster. And Jack Campbell at the end here, he's like, should I score? Should, should, I, should I wait? Should I take a knee here and end the game? Young man, you get yourself in that end zone because you don't get opportunities like that all the time. It's great that he had the presence of mind, though, yeah. to think about if I go down, we can bleed clock and be out of here. Mike Pereira in our ear does not like it as a foul because it started in bounds. And it is not a foul, it's blocked. Oh, and they're going to take it in for a touchdown. Tyler Fisher. And credit Henry Marquez for getting in there. Fisher does the rest. Brand new ball game in Lincoln. Last three in this series have been decided by three, three, and six. We're on track for something like that again. Oh, the ball's on the deck. They turn it over. Smothers dropped it. And it's picked up by Logan Lee of Iowa. Smothers has not made many mistakes today, but on the exchange with Belt, it hits the deck. And Logan Lee hops right on at Hawkeye football. Goodson over 100 yards today, 22 carries. Now 23 carries, and the 23rd is a big one! It's a foot race. Goodson is tracked down by Tanner Britt around the 15-yard line. On the left side of this offensive line for Goodson. Makes a cut, and there's nobody in that alley. Nice job by the offensive line sustaining on their blocks. Well, they're going to sneak it with a push from behind, and he's in. Touchdown for the Hawkeyes. Petrus, Potabob pushing him. Linderbaum leading the way. All the bombs. They love it. Goodson, the deep back. Petrus rolls out, drops it off. He's got Laporta. Laporta with the lane. Laporta goes down at the 17. Here's Laporta as the tight end. Watch as he's going to delay on this bootleg. Here's Petrus. They fake the counter. Now as he comes out, that's when Laporta gets out. He's wide open in the flat. Easy throw for Petrus. And there's Laporta giving him some juke. 
Haskins in motion. McNamara all day to throw it. Finally delivers. And incomplete. And intercepted by Jack Campbell. They do this a lot where they have a delay from the tight end, but McNamara throws it behind him. Again, tips and overthrows. That's where Iowa lives. That's how they create their takeaways. McNamara is getting antsy in the pocket. You see, he just kind of quickly throws it, but it's behind Eric All. And it gets tipped right to the safety, or excuse me, Jack Campbell, the middle linebacker. And it's another interception for Iowa, their 23rd on the year. Here's McCarthy. Lines up, lets it go down the field. And intercepted at the goal line. Jamar Harris picks it off. Iowa with a second down and two. It's play action for Petras setting off, taking a shot downfield. Laporte is there. He's got it inside the 25-yard line. And it's a boot and throw back on the corner route to Laporta. And the best throw of the day from Spencer Petras. Perfectly placed over the shoulder. And they run a jet sweep, and there's some running room for Bruce inside the 10. drive by Iowa running the football. I love how they bring Sam Laporte. They had that trip set over there. Sam Laporte comes all the way back across. You know, even though he just throws, that's a key block. And then as we just talked about, Arlen Bruce. 110 on the field. Back to throw Petrus. Throws back to Laporte with blockers out in front. He's inside the 20. Inside the 10. Laporte to the end zone. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. They have the lead. What a play call here. You run the football, go ahead and roll it, guys. Run the football, hard play action, now freeze it. Okay, right here. Watch Laporta. He sells it, and then he's going to settle. Then, you got an offensive lineman getting out in front. I want you to watch these offensive linemen run. 78, Mason Richmond. 65, Tyler Linderbaum. Look at these guys get out and run. Get on that second, third level, and then Sam Laporta, your best offensive weapon, finishes at the goal line. Robinson right here. Iowa. Bring it, everybody. Levis gets rid of the pass. Long throw. Picked off inside the 40-yard line. It would have been a turnover on downs anyway. Jamari Harris steps in front of the receiver. You're going to see a safety come down. Pressure gets there. Ball's got to come out fast. And it's Jamari Harris who steps in front of that pass and gets a huge interception.